Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part four of perimeter and area. So we'll see the remaining questions here. So the hypotenuse of an isosceles right angle triangle is given as 12 centimeter and you have to find the area. So now can you see this one because it is an isosceles triangle means these both sides are going to be equal and it's also given here. This whenever we see here, that means these sides are equal and this is the hypotenuse. So how can we see the hypotenuse? Because this is 90 degree and this the side opposite to 90 degree is all, always going to be the hypotenuse. So we can write here because since it is an isosceles triangle and also given here, we can write here xy is equal to yz and that let us consider that as x. So now according to the Pythagoras theorem, so you know this is the hypotenuse square. So the square of this hypotenuse, that is the xz square, will be xy square plus the yz square. So now already xz is given, that is 12. So 12 square is equal to, we have considered this as x, so x square plus x square. So this is going to be 12 square will be 144, and it will be, this will be 1 plus 1, that is going to be 2x square. So we'll take this 2 on the other side, so this will get divided, that is x square. So what you can do here? You can simplify this, this will be x. So now when you square both the sides, 72 is equal to x square. So when you're squaring both the sides, what do we get here? x will be, this x will be, that is root of 72. And that when you factorize it, that will be 36 into 2. So why did we take 36? Because now we will take the biggest number, which will be a perfect square. So now this 36 root of 36 is going to be 6. So that is going to be 6 root 2 centimeter so you got the excess 6 root 2 centimeter so they have asked for the area so area of this uh, this triangle so that is half into base into height so the base also is the same and the height also is same because both are say, uh, equal so we can write here we got this as x uh, 6 root 2 into 6 root 2 so 2 ones are 2 threes are so 3 6 are 18 and root 2 into root 2 root 2 into root 2 that is going to be root of 4 and root of 4 you know that is true so we can write here for directly for this and this one as 2. So that will be area of triangle will be 36 centimeter square. Find the area of triangle ABC if angle B is equal to 90 degree. This is B is equal to 90 degree. AB is equal to 5. AB is equal to 5. And AC will, this is given as 13. So now we will find out first this before finding the area, we should know the height of it. So now we'll find out this bc so according to pythagoras theorem what you can do we can write here ac square because this is the hypotenuse so ac square is ab sorry this will be base square plus the height square we can also write the height plus this one both is the same so that will be ab square plus bc square so this is given as 13 so 13 square will is given this will be 5 5 square plus we don't know bc so that is bc square so 13 square means 13 into 13, that will be 169. 25, 5 square is 25, and this is BC square. So if we take this 25 on this side, that is going to be minus 25, and that is BC square. So this will be 144 is equal to BC square. So BC is going to be root of 144 means when you square both sides. So root of 144, that is going to be 12 centimeters. So this BC is 12 centimeter. Now we want the area so area is half base into height so half into what is the base here 5 and you got this as 12 so 5 into 12 so 2 ones are 2 6 are so this should be 30 centimeter square in triangle abc ad so whenever we write like this that is called as the short form of the perpendicular so ad is perpendicular to bc now can you see this ad is perpendicular to this bc so now ac is given as this ac is 50 and bd this bd is 9 and this DC, that is 30, this are given. And you have to find AD, you have to find this one. So what we'll do here, first we'll take this. Sorry, this is ADC, we can dot not ABC. Okay, so now we'll take this triangle. So now this triangle, because this is 90, this also should be 90. So what we can do here, this is 90 means this is going to be the hypotenuse of this separate triangle. This is ADC. So this is 90. So this is going to be the hypotenuse of it. So what we can write here in triangle ADC, AC square is going to, this AC square is going to be this one, DC square plus this one, 
AD square and we know AC. What is AC is given here as 50 square and that is here 30 square plus AD square. So this will be 50 into 50 that will be 2500 and this is going to be 900 plus AD square. If you take this on this side that is going to be 900 minus 900 is equal to AD square. So when you subtract this one so this should be 1600 is equal to AD square. When you square both sides so that will be 40 into 40 that will be 1600. So AD is going to be 40 centimeters. So this one you got as AD as 40 centimeter. So now what is the other thing they have asked? Area of triangle ABC. So this whole triangle we they have asked. So what will be that? That is going to be half this BC into this AD. Or we can write AD into BC or BC into AD. So now what is what is BC? BC is here, see here, this, this whole part. So this is 9, this part is 9 and this is 30. So we can, when we add both of them, that we get 39. So we can write in place of BC as 39. AD already we got now as 40. So 2 ones are 2, 20 is are. So this is going to be 39 into 20, that will be 780 centimeters square. So now we ask for the perimeter of triangle ABC. ABC means you need this AB, BC, and AC. So you know this one as you know this BC because this is 39, this is 50, but you don't know AB. So what will you do here? So AB square, first thing you have to find out AB square. So AB square again now we will do with the help of the Pythagoras theorem. So you know this is 90, so this is going to be the hypotenuse. So AB square will be BD square plus this one. So see here, this I'll do it separately. A, D, B. So this is 90 degrees. So this is the hypotenuse. So what will you write here? A, B square will be B, D square plus the A, D square. That is what is written here. So after putting the values of A, D, that is 40 square plus B, D is 9. So that will be square of that one. So that will be 1600 plus 81. So A, B square is 1681. So what will be A, B? That will be root of 1681. And you can check with this one so now see how to find out when it, there is a big number now you know 10 square is 100 20 square is 400 30 square is going to be 900 40 square is going to be 1600 and 50 square will be 2500 so now this is 1681 so it will lie in between 40 and 50 because it will be more than 40 but less than 50 so now what will you do here we will see where you get 1 after 40 where do you get this one on the this one so we get 1 on 41 or we can get 1 on 49 but 49 is going to be a very big number so now let us see 41 into 41 so 41 into 41 means it is going to be 1681 so 41 the root of 1681 that is going to be 41 centimeter so now we've got a b now we can find the perimeter of a b c you know the perimeter means sum of all sides so a b plus b c plus a c so now this is 41 here you know b c is 39 and this is 50 you can have a look at the figure so when you add this one that is going to be 130 centimeter now here they said find the missing values well even if the table is given you cannot find out directly the missing values so whatever i have put with a white one that is the answer but before that i have done the calculation over here so now see a base is given the height is given and they have asked for the area of the triangle for a so what will be that area of triangle is half base into it i have written the short form of b and s that is the base and height so base is given as six and this is given as four point Four. So when you simplify this, you get 13.2. So I've written the answer 13.2 over here. Again, here, what is that? They have asked for the B part, that is the heights. You are going to use the same formula, but now in place of this, already 170.5 is given, half. The base is given, the height is the height is not given. So two ones are, two elevens are. So this is already on the left-hand side. When this goes on the left-hand side, it is going to get divided. So when you divide this one, you get 15.5 centimeter. That is height and that is given here. Now you will see here the base is not given. The rest, the height and the area is given. Again, the same formula. So you can just check with this one. So now see here. Uh, now here we cannot cancel out anything. Now. So what did I do here? This two, I took it on this side. And this, uh, this will get, that will be multiplied. And this will get divided. 
So now for this one, what you can do, you know, because there is a decimal, if you are not using a Kelsey, I'll show you how to do this one. So you can write here 75 and here 7.5 means we can get 75 divided by 100 because 7.5 means after one number is a decimal. So always we are going to divide it by 10. So if you want a decimal and this two is already there. So what you will do here, 75 into two will keep as it is. And this, the denominator will get loop over. So 10 will go in the denominator and 7. T5 will come in the, sorry, in the numerator and 75 will go in the denominator. This will get flip over. So this and this gets answered. That will be 1. So 10 to the 20. So hope this is clear to you. So that is going to be B. So now in the fourth one, that is D part, they have asked for the area of the triangle. The rest, base and the height is given. Again, the same formula. So you can just plug in the values and you can see this is very easy. E, again, you are going to use the same formula. Already everything has been solved here because of this decimal. You see what I've done here because here after two numbers is a decimal. To simplify your answer, I have divided by 100. And here after one number is a decimal, so I divided by 10. And this, the numerator always stays the same. And this, the denominator gets flip over. So this will be 10 by this. 125 by 10 is going to be 10 by 125. And then later on, you can simplify and see the answer is 4.2 centimeter. Now again here the table is given but in that case the area of the triangle was given and here area of parallelogram is given so the formula changes. So here all the white ones they are the answers but again I have done the calculation over here. So now area of parallelogram that was half b into h this is just b into h. So here the base is given and the height is given so just plug in the values so you get 29 centimeter square. Again, here what is that? The height is given, not given, sorry, and the base and the this is given. So again, the same formula. So in place of this parallelogram area is here. So you will write below that 9.45. And again, you will this one. And now look at the decimal. Again, the same thing I have done. After two numbers is a decimal, so I divided by 100. After one number is a decimal, so I divided by 10. And the numerator is this one. The denominator is this. So numerator stays as it is the denominator gets flipped so that will be 10 by 30 so this is the answer same for the next one you can have it look with it so here both the same only the you have to see the formulas you are not going to change it is going to be b into h only because it is a parallelogram you can have a look at it so this all the calculations are given here so just you have to plug in the values and you have to simplify it. Find the area of a parallelogram whose base is 18.5 centimeter and the corresponding height is 10 centimeter. It is given parallelogram. So be careful. The triangle and the parallelogram for everyone, the formula changes. So base of parallelogram is given. These are the given things I have written here. So area of parallelogram into that is base into height. Same thing. You are just going to put in the values. And that is the answer that is 185 centimeter.